Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here and we are doing day 81 of the 100 day project and today's suggestion came from Michelle and it's inspired by Leonardo's painting. So Leonardo da Vinci obviously. Um, so what I did was I gathered a few images, oh first of all I gathered some of his quotes, really really great Leonardo quotes. Um, Reprove your friend in silence and praise him openly. Uh, the greatest deception men suffer is from their own opinions. Experience is a truer guide than words of uh, than the words of others. The noblest pleasure is the joy of understanding. Learning is the only thing the mind never exhausts, never fears, and never regrets. Um, I have been, I've, I have been impressed with the urgency of doing, knowing is not enough, we must apply, being willing is not enough, we must do, life without love is no life at all, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication, nothing strengthens authority so much as silence, a beautiful body perishes but a work of art dies not, learning never exhausts the mind, so that's a similar one um as uh, oh this one's a good one as a well-spent day procures a happy sleep so a life well spent procures a happy death wisdom wisdom is the daughter of experience um and i didn't read oh the knowledge of the knowledge of the past times and of the places of earth is both and both an ornament and nutriment to the human mind the tears come from the heart and not from the brain so yeah i really like his um sayings expressions um and you can easily find those i'm not going to put these in as a digital kit you can easily find those uh, on the internet and then just type them up um and then there i found some well public domain images i'll tell you who has um some kits i'm not going to make this into a kit um I'll tell you who has some kits is Mrs. Cog. Mrs. Cog has some kits, Da Vinci kits, if you want those. So we have to be inspired by Da Vinci. Now, I really these are the things I really love. I, I only printed out a couple of details of his paintings, but I really like his um, uh, sketching as well. And his they called them his codexes um, and his quotes so really the question is what to make i've got this nice it sort of calls for to me for some nice um tea dyed paper so i was thinking I, or i could do like a journal page or i could fold this into into half and then join it the other way and make a long piece and make a concertina sort of thing i don't know but i think my images might be although they would fit on there some of them but not all of them so yeah this is as i keep saying this is one of my things now really is what do i want to make well maybe i'll do a journal page i think i'll do a journal page because that's a useful thing to have and we might have some flippity floppity things so let's see well, I think inside these might be flips, those two. So I'm just going to separate them. And I was thinking I'm going to glue them to some, just some paper, because this is just printed on regular paper. So I want them to be a little bit stronger. Yeah. And then I will also back them. But before I glue them, well, let me just think about this. Yes, I'm going to glue them to some paper first. Will they fit on there? Just. So if I put glue all over this, that should fit. So nothing, you know, no, nothing too inventive today, like in the sense of um, sort of a new base or anything like that. It's pretty hot outside. The temperature is going up. We're going to get up to the mid 30s. So that's pretty hot for me. So I'm enjoying staying inside. I don't like going out when it's too hot. So I'll just trim this off. 
So how is everyone today? I hope you're all well. I saw um, that the COVID cases are going up a lot in the States. I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, I hope everybody is safe and well and staying in and social distancing and washing their hands. Um, and I just hope that it gets under control soon. We had a new cluster here um, in Bologna, actually at, <laughs> I said, oh my word, at um, a courier. Um, actually, they just delivered stuff to me the other day, that courier, and they probably came from Bologna. Um, 64 staff members tested positive. So um, I was thinking, oh, thank heavens, when I get my parcels, I I um, open them and then um, just put sort of put the paper boxes, aren't they gorgeous? Um, put the boxes at the door and then I um, I wash my hands, of course, pretty quickly and um, and then I throw them out. But yeah, we I mean, we did expect, we did expect for there to be some form of increases um, because, you know, things are pretty much normal now, except um, as I've said before, we do have to um just trying to think what do I want to put here I might put some of this paper here um except we have to wear masks when we go out so that's those let's just deal with this first. tear that oh well that wasn't very good but oh, that'll do that'll be fine let's put that there and I was thinking I'd like a bit more color the, I mean, what I've printed out is doesn't have a lot of colour. Um, well, I think I might put a pocket too on one side. I could make all these decisions. Too many, like there's all these decisions to be made on four pages. So I like that. There you go, that's progress. And I was wondering, I wouldn't mind just having something very beige on this page maybe. Oh, I know what else I've got. I've also got all of these lovely Florentine papers, which would be quite appropriate, I think, for... Because I found them. I think I told you that yesterday. I found my Florentine papers. They have reappeared. Um, they were actually just dumped on something, and then I'd put all this stuff on top. And um, and that's why I couldn't find them. Oh, this is nice. This would be perfect. So... Well, I, I won't put it there, but I'll put it on this side. This is kind of like from the old manuscripts, but it's a, a paper. It was in my last packs. Um, I'll probably have different papers in my next round of packs because um, you don't always find the same things. Okay, so I'll put that there do I want it that big now let's see I'm going to have that there always double oh I do like that so that's going to go there and then I was thinking I might tear this if I can tear it carefully -ish, ish ish so I like Leonardo's work but he he's not my favorite artist let's say that I do like his work that doesn't mean I don't like his work but he's just not my favorite um, I like all these things and I love her face. I tend to like and appreciate more his genius. Um, but there are other artists that I just enjoy more. Put that there. No, we don't want two faces. What are you doing, Rachel? Don't have two faces together. Okay, so we'll tear down this one. Yes, that's going to be better. And just let's have a look here. We'll have her there. I can even put her down there. Yeah, I might even put that flip out down there. That's going to flip out and then you'll see that and you'll be able to write there. So you kind of almost get that space back. I might just tear this down a teeny tiny bit more. And 
and we will have a look even a little bit more yeah I tend to take off a bit less than what I think just to be sure in case I accidentally tear off too much oh dearie me Okay, put those there, that there I should say, and then I'm going to glue that one on. Okay, so we need to back that one and she's going to go there or even... I don't even mind if it goes... No, I think I'll put it down there, as I said before. Hopefully, I'll remember. And then here, well, we can do the same thing here. So, I've also got these expressions, these um, quotes here. So, we might have a quote. Um, where's my scissors? Oh, here. So these are just printed on tracing paper. It's quite a thin tracing paper, so it does disappear quite well, except for the writing, of course, when you glue it down. Yeah, we might just have that there. Itchy. Okay, let's put this in here. I was a bit upset that I had lost this folder because um, I just wanted to see if you'd be able to see it on there because I had all my, no, not very well. I had all my, or, you know, even all my marbled papers in there and I couldn't find them. glue that there oopsie oh and so lately I've been a bit um you know it's getting toward towards the pointy end really of the 100 day project so and I look at the prompts and I think oh no I'm not going to do that <laughs> and then and then I get distracted and do other things and I come back to it and I think oh yes I am going to do that something comes to mind okay so that's going to go there but I'm actually thinking I might even... is that weird her peeking out up there it might be let's just rip out this floral here quite like that you could even fussy cut it yes yeah, so remember mrs cogs craft mrs cogs c-o-g-s crafts on etsy she has um some leo um kits and she does a great job with the kits so if you're interested in having something like that then um, you can go ahead and get them from her. Right, so I'll put that there. Oh, great. So that's that. That's going to go there. And we're going to have a bit of, oh, no, not textile there, but we will have it there. And now I need to do the reverse here. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I'm not going to do it here. I'll do it on the other page. I've changed my mind. So I'm just going to back those. What will I back them with? What would we like to see when we flip it out? Um, 
Yeah, sort of it's too much yellow going on there. Way too much yellow happening. Um, I do also like my papers from yesterday. Mm. I think you could write on there. You put a little bit of that. Let's give it a tear. collage it a bit more on it okay and let's just grab I've got my little envelope here lots of people ask me where I get these um, snap lock yes yeah, snap snap closure or whatever um, sort of it's a bit of um, snap closure envelopes and they're plastic and I get them actually from my supermarket you know all different sizes they have them So that's going to go there. I should write this, slide it down. There's a bit of white there, so I'll trim that off. Don't need to keep that and I just want to tear this down a little bit more this is just some paper that came in a parcel I think it was in an Amazon parcel of course I may not use everything that I printed up just a selection we'll just see how we go that there so that's that one that one's done and that will need some fabric on it. Got that quote up there. Now, let's have something over here. I won't use that paper again. So I just like to open it and see what's happening. It's got that there. I think I might have been bitten by a mozzie, even though we've got fly screens. My husband goes out onto the terrace and he flings it open in such a manner that it stays open the the oh I like that the mosquito net and it doesn't have a chance to shut because of the way it's flung open he goes out there with great gusto and um and so I think the mozzies get in at early in the morning he has to go out and water his basil he loves his basil now the basil is very happy and growing very well in the pot but I'm not allowed to go out and use it I mean go figure because I'm taking the leaves off the poor thing. So then we get to the end of the summer when you know the basil will start to to fail, and we have to we have to sort of take it you know take everything off because um, it's just full of leaves that haven't been used and it's a shame. So then we make up. We do end up making a whole lot of pesto. Um, and we get to keep that in the freezer. But um, I'm like, we could have enjoyed some pesto throughout the summer. But no, we're not allowed to use it. We're only allowed to use a few leaves at a time when he makes us tomato pasta. Just a few leaves at a time. Now I'm looking in my paper here and thinking, do I want a little bit of paper up there? But not this one. Oh, I know I've got some strips that were left over when I cut them up. Just a second. Let's get to the strips. Look at all these strips. Strip 
types are useful. I don't want the same type as that one. I don't think I want green. I thought I do have blue in there. I must not, I, the only one I didn't pull out was the blue one, didn't I? That would be right. Where's the blue one? Here it is. Okay. So I was wondering, I might like, yes, I think I might like a piece of that up there. I may or may not. We'll just, we'll just have to audition it and see how we go. So I guess being inspired by Leonardo is a good opportunity to use Florentine papers that I hardly ever use. Or do I want to put it like that? No, I think I'll put it over there. Things flopping out everywhere. Chunks of glue. It's all happening. It's all happening. Sherry, you'll be pleased because Leonardo does not make me want to use labels. So no labels today, I don't think. Although I could change my mind. That could happen. That is a possibility. This is not Leonardo. This is the Pythagora, I think it's called. I'm wondering if I just would like a little bit of something on there, but I don't know. So we won't waste our time with it. We'll just... Oh, I know. I haven't decorated this side. These papers out of the way. Oh, more and more stuff comes out to play. And my Leonardo ladies are going astray as well. Um... <laughs> Let's grab this one. This one has more plain papers. Here we go. That'll do. It's a good size. Now, I'm just going to trim this piece off because, you know, I always get the white on there. So let's trim the white off before. That's a clever thing to do. glue on here I think I need a new page I'm very vigorous with the gluing today very very vigorous move my page out of the way I'm quite likely it's quite you know I could easily stick um Oh, I just have, I'll be back in a minute. Sorry about that. I am back. Ooh. Okay. Put my paper on there. Trim it off. Maybe I could put that one. No, not that one. I'm going to put a little bit, one of those strips. I put them all back in here, didn't I? I'm going to get one of those strips. Maybe I'll put this, the Pitago one on. Just give it a little bit there. So I'm just going to tear a little bit off. going to cut some off as well because I think it's too wide so I'll just glue So that's glued down. So this is my page here. These are Leonardo designs. They're Florentine papers. There's a Leonardo expression. We might have one. We might put one here. A quote. Where's my quote page? Where have where have you gone? Quote page. Where are you? I've lost my quote page. Hmm. 
There it is. Now, we might have, I don't want anything too big. Will they fit on there? They do. I think I like that one. The noblest pleasure is the joy of understanding. Is it not true we're happy when we understand? I'm not happy when I don't understand. But it happens quite often. Especially when I'm watching the Italian news, I'm like, did I understand it all or not? Sometimes I just get Steffi to recap. I'll put it down there, up there, down there, I think. Um, I get Steffi to recap just in case I miss something because it's quite hard. They use all this terminology and there's a lot of information in there and I sort of get lost. Okay, so they'll be hinged on there so they'll close like that and that is that that's my inside of my leonardo page now what about the first part of my leonardo page what will i do <laughs> interesting question i really love this lady about her Ooh. I know I know what have we got this catch that there and have her on there what else did I print up those oh, I could have that well, I think I'll have her and I'm going to I'm feeling hot I'm going to attach her to fabric, I think, behind. Just a plain fabric, nothing too thick or special, just to put a little texture behind her. But I am going to glue her. I probably should have done that first. Oh, well. I'm going to glue her just to a piece. Regular copy paper. I want to glue her to a piece of book page just to make her a bit stronger. So she enjoys being glued to the book, to the fabric. It's probably an unnecessary extra step, but it's what makes me happy. They're very gluey. I just have to flop those into the garbage bin right away or they'll be sticking. I'll have book page stuck to my floor. Okay. That's better. Put that there. Um, I'm going to cover the envelope with some paper. I'm actually going to So the majority of it will be covered by um, Leonardo's lady. I don't know who she is. It's a study for one of his paintings. I can't remember which one. Whoopsie. Whoopsie doopsie. Okay. Put that there. I might put some Florentine paper. We're going to get a little bit of colour happening. I'll put a little bit of Florentine paper behind now. We've just got to decide which one this one so let's just see what's happening i just have to always double check as you know well yes we can have a bit of color 
think we can we tear that one and put that one there oh yes I think that's going to be beautiful so let's just tear that down and I'm just going to eyeball it here and glue that there excited to use my papers I really am it's gonna go there and then I still need a little bit of something here mm -hmm. there. Let's see what's happening over here I'll do it or this one I like this I think I like this one just tear it a little bit at the top everywhere that's no surprise is it that there now grab my card glue that there and then I want to put her there but I want a little bit of something coming out from behind and I'm thinking now do I have a plain I would love some of this but I just yes yes there are plain bits here this plain bit right here this is what I want behind her so what I think I might do, oh my gosh, I keep getting so much glue everywhere. I'm just going to use this glue and put the glue on here. Put the glue on there and then I think, oh no, my scissors are in the other room. Oh dear, do I have any scissors in here that will cut? These might. Don't you love that sound? Yep, I do like the fabric behind. I'm just going to trim a little bit more off. We don't want to cover all of our background. that's going to go there and so what I need to do is actually stitch that because I need to stitch it and then I can glue it to I'm not going to stitch my envelope because that's going to be stay that's going to be open so I need to stitch it beforehand so here goes just hold your horses I'm going to, just going to stitch a second lovely I'm going to put that on there mm -hmm. looks very old worldly to me so I'm going to use my I'd like to use this glue if it behaves just very carefully it's 
smoosh it about thinly there. Actually, you don't even have to glue that bit down. That can even stay loose. It doesn't have to glue all the way down. Okay, great. And then here. So first of all, I'm going to... No, I'm not. because Well, I could. I, if I wanted to stitch it, I can still stitch it even if I attach it. I can. So let's attach it. I'm just going to put glue on here where there isn't any. There's the sticky bit, but then there's the other bits that don't have glue. And that is going to glue to my page. I'm not going to put it right 100% flush. Just to make sure it um, closes. And that will be stitched into the signature. And then this will have to be covered, obviously. So that can be a start. And I haven't finished that side yet, but anyway. It's a teeny tiny tear. quite wide enough but I think that that sort of will disappear a little bit um I needed to slide it up higher I've stuck it in the wrong spot okay yeah put that there just to cover that little bit of yellow peeking out I don't mind that because that when you've got a whole lot of pages that sort of yellow there will kind of um, disappear in the fold of the journal if you know what I mean so that's that oh I really like this it's coming together okay and then in here I'm thinking I'm going to put this but again I need to attach it to a book page I need to attach it. I need to attach it to book page. I'll make that stronger. Or because it's too small, I need to attach it to something else. So I'm just thinking. My brain is ticking. Um, it's a shame to cover up all that Florentine paper. This is this is good paper. This would be good. Let's measure a piece of this. Oh, perfect. Well, not perfect, but nearly. It's not perfect, but let's make it, let's just say it will do the job. Who said it had to be perfect? Tear this piece off. I'll glue that there got to be careful here now when you do this you want to keep this open here so you need to just grab one of the bodgy pieces of page like this one's full of blobs of glue so I probably won't even use this one for anything just slip it in there you've seen me do this a million times but there are a few newbies around who may not have seen me do this and you just put your glue all over here now the reason why I've got the paper in there is so I don't glue um, otherwise it'll glue my pocket shut in that area and we don't want to do that and I'll show you how I'll open up my pocket afterwards and we're going to put that there that 
that's that. Got a bit of glue on the outside. Now I need to this. I need to tear this down. This is from his, I don't know, study of flowers or something. Very bad tearing. I insist on tearing on not flat surfaces, don't I? I do it every single time. That's going to pop in there. Pop on there, I should say. Get glue everywhere, all around, because I'm not stitching that. Whoosh. Now I'll stitch down there so that will be closed and I'm going to open it. Oh, I've, done, I've got to stitch that down otherwise it's going to annoy me. And I need to open it here. You can open it at the top or on the side. And I'm going to open it on the side. So you can put a journaling card or extra paper in there, whatever you like. So that's open there and that's going to be closed. So let's close that. And I just go down with a straight stitch. So that's done. So that is now closed. And there is open. And I don't think I'm going to put too much here. I'll put that little piece there if I want. Oh, I like that. Um, put that there. be a piece of this I don't know why these papers just sort of I know because probably because he worked he worked in Florence so that's probably why these papers remind me of Leo he lived there for a long time then he went and lived in France I think he died in France if I remember correctly and he was a great rival to Michelangelo don't know that they got along so well and they both did um they both had to, they were both asked to paint the Battle of Anghiari. Anghiari is actually between here and Arezzo. And we've had lunch. It's a very lovely little town. It's not too far from Michelangelo's birth town of Caprese. Um, and they had to, they were both asked for the um, Palazzo Vecchio in Florence, the, you know, the, where the government was, to paint in one of the big rooms there, the big halls, the Battle of Anghiari. And they, they, so they both had to do this big um, test painting to see, sort of, see who would get the job. And um, I think there was a fire and they got burnt. Um, but yeah, they were great rivals. So let's see if we, I'm just going to cut out um, an expression and see, just reading which one I might like. Um, and see which one I'm if I want to put one there or not. Just cut it out. Yeah, so they were great rivals, um, and could both often be asked for, you know, a commission by the same patron. Put that there. Put it up there. I like it up there. Put something over there. I'd need a smaller one over there. Let's just test. Let's just audition it. I didn't know actually before this that there were such... I don't quite like that. I think I'm going to put it there. I didn't know there were such um, lovely Da Vinci quotes before this. So that's something. Learn something from everything. Put that up there. 
doesn't interfere too much with the beautiful artwork. And I think I'm going to leave this plain. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put, I'll tell you what I am going to put there is, or oh, a little piece of this note. I could put that piece there. Or let's have a look, a piece of this. Oh, yeah, a piece of that. See, I just trim it off wherever I I like it. If it's in the middle, I'll snip it off. Oh, yeah, that's going to be really good. So we'll glue that down. Let's see if I can get any more out of this one. Oh, yeah, there's plenty in there. It's just it's quite hard to get it out. Yeah, so Diane, and um, she's a subscriber. She sent me two tacky glues um, just to try them out. And um, that's the second one. I've already finished the first one. I think I'm going to be finishing the second one soon. I do like how they're not so wet. I think I've said that before, but I, I like how they're not so wet. It doesn't really seep through your page. Sometimes too much PVA glue comes out and it makes the page crinkly. Whereas this one doesn't seem to do that. Oh yeah, I'm really happy with this now. So that's that. I might, um, I'm not going to do my semi-circle punch there, but I, on the front, I think I'll do it on the inside because I've got the fabric there on the other side. So I'll do it like that. See, I've got the fabric there. I don't want to do it there. Very happy with that. I've got a quote there. Just a plain writing page there. Now we need to fix these up. So I didn't use everything, but I've used quite a lot of um, what I printed. So here, I need to hinge it. I've got my fabric here. My, this is my hinging fabric. It's just a vintage piece of cotton. And I, it just hangs around. And I, and I, um, it's a bit long. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to rip off a piece. And I'll, I'll rougher that and use that for other projects. That's a great width. And then these, this will be fine. It doesn't have to be exactly the same now what am i covering up there i don't want to go too wide i'll do it on that one on that side maybe a little bit less wide okay so now i might just run a bit of glue down that just helps it not jiggle about when you're stitching too much so put that there so first of all i'm going to stitch around this and i'm going to zigzag so just um turn the volume down if it annoys you like these hingy pages. Okay, and just when you're, just a, a note, when you're um, hinging pages, make sure you've got your, your piece where you want to put it and put your, your um, fabric where it's going to go because... I, what's happened to me in the past is I've put it on the wrong side and then I couldn't hinge it where I wanted to and I had to change my plan because I made a mess, I made a mistake. See, so that one will stitch on there. Just move my sewing machine on the screen now so you can see me stitch it onto the page and move my mess out of the way just slide it over a bit I think it's on screen like that so now what I do is I'll I'll grab my page now it's a bit of a annoyance because I've got this um, this envelope here but I'll just hold it like that now I've got to get my lady that's the right way I open it out and I'm just going to hold it in place, get things out of the way, because they'll make my page move. And I'm going to move that one out. 
and come up with this one. And you don't um, stitch it on flush right to your page. You leave a little gap so that way it can fold easily. And just back stitch a little bit hold it in place you could go right up if you want to but I've got my ruffle there with the wet tacky glue so I didn't want to um, stitch up there and that's so that one's that one it's very easy um, and the fabric is nice to use so that's that way so I turn my page around you don't want to you don't want to go in this way because then you've got all the bulk and you hit the side of your sewing machine you flip it around put that like that hold it in place more or less won't be won't be perfect nothing I ever do ever is okay so trim those off move the sewing machine out of the way and we'll see how we're going. So, I think that's it. I don't know. We'll have a look at the last page, but I don't think I want to do anything else. So, um, we've got our pocket here that something can go in. Um, I don't think I'm going to put anything on there. No quotes or anything like that. Although it would be nice, but I'm not going to because I've got the fabric there and I didn't glue that down on purpose. Um We've got the quote over here, that's enough. Just a plain writing page with a bit of ruffle there. And then here we've got the quote, flips out like that, got a quote over here. Plenty of writing space. And then this is the back. And I'm just wondering if I need to put anything else on the back. I don't think so, I didn't use these. Back there. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I think I put that there. Why not? And you can write around that too because it's very pale put that one there considering it's all ripped out and ready to go we'll just glue that there and we are done so i hope you enjoyed that that's my leonardo da vinci inspiration for day 81 of the 100 day project and there you have it how about that so flip. So that would that will just stitch in the in the what do you call it the um, the signature. That's a pocket. You could have also put a pocket here. You could put an acetate pocket there. I left that for writing. This is a flip. They could have also been made pockets if you wanted to. And then that's the back. So I hope you enjoyed that. I had great fun doing that. So thank you for that suggestion, Michelle. And I will see you again soon. Bye.